first, I'd like to thank my friend and colleague from Kenora. I, I know him as a very reasonable, fair person. So, Madam Speaker, I brought up earlier the, my concern about the government uh, going, moving towards time allocation on this bill. At the same day that they announced that was the day that the provinces had uh, asked for more time. And we need to have a, further, a, a greater discussion around the issues that they've outlined. But also, we're seeing a record number of vacancies in the courts and charges for violent crimes that are being stated. So why is the government continuing to use justice resources to go after people for simple possession of a substance that the government has tabled legislation to legislate, uh, to legalize, sorry. Where's the fairness, Madam Speaker? The RO member for Kenora. Well, Madam Speaker, I think those of us uh, who spend a lot of time in Parliament will know that uh, the question that the member asks uh, uh, refers to how people feel uh, about uh, the structure of how we make laws. And in this place, we cannot assume a law is a law until it's passed. And because if we were to do that, we would, have, we would inform the justice system, we would inform our, our colleagues in the police forces to uh, prejudge the decisions of Parliament before they're made. And so my only advice to my colleague is to be patient. And we'll see how this evolves as we go and see where the government believes is the best approach to deal with people who already have a criminal record, with people who are frustrated with... Uh, uh, the police force is a little too active out there on cannabis, but at the same time, I myself say to our government that I belong to, we should take the time to make sure we get this right, and I expect that that's exactly what we're going to do. That may not sound or seem like that's what we're doing in the House today, but I know that all the work that's been done over the last couple of years is going to uh, come to fruition with being patient enough to make sure we get this right for Canadians and for our young people. Questions and comments? Uh, the Honourable Member for Edmonton West. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to thank my colleague for his, uh, his speech. I have a question. We understand, we know that there's an issue with underage or the youth smoking marijuana in this country. I'd just like to hear from the, we hear again and again from the government, the solution to this is to allow children from 12 to 17 to legally have up to seven joints. We hear the solution to youth using marijuana is to allow families to grow seven pot plants of unlimited height in every single household and apartment in the country. I'm just curious, how in the world is making it more available to youth going to reduce youth marijuana use? The RO member for Kenora. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. And uh, I have to say to the member, it's not very useful to put facts on the floor of the House of Commons that are not true because we are not, we are not putting uh, marijuana in the hands of 12-year-olds or 17-year-olds. And so the fact remains, Madam Speaker, we've got to start with the real issue at hand. And I strongly urge the member to come with me. I'll go to any high school and I'll show you who's selling the drugs to the kids. Even the police know that, that that's what's going on simply because it's so widespread it's almost impossible to control the way the member is suggesting. And so what I say to that member and his party, you know, get with the program with young people and we'll make a difference in what they're try we're trying to accomplish on their behalf. We have time for a brief question. The Honourable Member for Nanaimo, Lady Smith. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, earlier this week, I voted to remove from Bill C-45 the provision uh, Clause 9, which would give uh, someone who, for example, uh, passes a joint at a party to someone who turns out to be under the age of 19. Right now, in this legislation, this is a 14-year penalty for what's called uh, non-commercial cannabis trafficking. Uh, does the member share my concern that people uh, in the public may not be aware that this is a severe penalty for something that could well be an accident, um, and that given that we've, uh, uh, the government has closed down debate, um, this can't be fully aired? Very brief answer from the member for Kenora, 26 seconds. Okay, Madam Speaker, I'll be very quick. Uh, I don't think, and I don't think anyone in this House agrees with the member that that's the intention of this clause or legislation, that we are going to put an individual at a house party in jail for 14 years for unfortunately passing a joint off to someone who was younger than anticipated. 
That's not the way any legislation works, Madam Speaker, and I ask the member to reconsider making those kind of comments in public when, in fact, that's not the way the law will read. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Resuming debate, the Honourable Member for Montarville. Thank you, Madam Speaker.